Hello, Sagittarius. I am doing a reading on why did my ex return. This is going to be for May the 18th to the end of this month. Why did my ex return? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why did my ex return? This is not going to resonate with everyone. So don't get mad if it's not your story. Why did my ex return? This person has been watching you. They want to make sure that you wasn't dating anybody else before they came and want to offer you something. They've been watching. They could be driving by your house, going to your job, asking a friend about you, checking out your social media. They were feeling left out in the cold. They were struggling. Should they come back in and offer you something? And should they not? They were struggling about this decision. They was trying to make a decision. They was thinking about marrying you. Think about having a reunion with you. They were thinking about moving in together with you. This was on their mind. They're trying to make a decision about this. But you see this person as a player. This person is in and out of your life. Tell me more. They want to tell you the truth. Why they was in and out your life. They was feeling betrayed by you. It took them a long time to come up, you know, to offer you this, but now they want to offer you a stable commitment. It took them a while. The person sees you as being stable. Someone that they, they, you know, want to uh, marry one day. You're very grounded. He sees security with you, a long lifetime partner with you. Maybe this person didn't see that in you in the first place, but now they do. They see your value. This person wants a commitment. This could be the father of your kids. This could be someone in authority. Or well, some of you guys are dealing with a Taurus. They see your value now. This person was feeling sad. So they manifest you back into their life. They want to take action now. They see your worth. They see this Ten of Pentacles with you. They see a family 
secure family and not worried about money for a long period of time. They see that in you. That's why they came back. They want to see an um, unexpected, unexpected message. A very passionate message. It could be somebody younger than you. Somebody like, act like a child. The childlike energy. And they're trying to be hopeful. And they're hoping that you accept whatever they got to offer. That person can be bossy. But this is a person that was going to, it's going to control the household. Very stern. Good partner. So I'm going to deal with an Aries. An Aquarius. This person can be very passionate. Could be a male or female. Person is caring, friendly wise this person can be married this could be a good husband or a good wife or a good partner this this person will uh, support you they feel a remorse how the way they treated you before it was in and out They want to work on things. Whatever they was doing, they want to perfect their skills now. They want to make sure they don't say the, the wrong things now. Or do the wrong things. Or say the wrong things. This person wants to send you a romantic proposal, maybe an engagement or marriage, happy news or important message about marriage or an engagement, overall energy. Mm. This is something that ended. Some of you guys still in Scorpio? This Queen of Cups, somebody's in this energy. This is you got the Queen of Pentacles, a very stable, grounded person. A lot of you guys are dealing with Scorpio. It's kind of grounded. And I see a Queen of Cup, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, the King of Pentacles. Some of you guys are dealing with an Aries or Taurus. But somebody's in this energy. Somebody's juggling. I see a Libra, a Gemini, and Aquarius here. Some of you guys are dealing with a you got a five of pentacles, someone dealing with a Taurus. Got a knight of wands, Scorpio, Sagittarius, two of wands, and Aries. Ace of, Ace of swords, Libra, Gem, Gemini, and Aquarius. King of swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Four of wands, Aries. Ten of swords, a Gemini. Seven of Cups, Scorpio, Knight of Pentacles. This could be a Virgo, a Leo, Ten of Pentacles, Virgo, Queen of Pentacles, Aries, Pisces, the Hierophant, Taurus, Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. And Aquarius, Nine of Wands, Sagittarius, Three of Pentacles, someone dealing with a Capricorn, King of Cups could be a Scorpio, King
Cancer, Pisces, or even a Libra, Emperor, Aries, Page of Cups. There'll be a younger water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone is juggling. Someone's definitely juggling. If you like my readings, give me a thumbs up. And thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button.